Well, I mean, our tendency, whenever something horrible happens, is to think other things as horrible are going to happen and start thinking of everything in so-called worst-case scenarios, what I call worst-case bioethics. Just look at what's the worst that can happen. When that's like, yeah, it may be the worst that can It's not going to happen. I mean, those things don't happen. <laughs> Let's try to, you know, plan for the predictable, the likely, the things that, you know, yes, you want to spend 1% of your assets are thinking about the worst possible things, like hit, getting hit by a meteor or getting, you know, blown up by a nuclear bomb. Fine, but, you know, don't do your whole government, your whole life based on that. And that's what we're doing. And we are doing that. Cheney called it the 1% solution. And he meant it. He said, if there's a 1% chance something bad's going to happen, I want you to treat it like a 100% chance. That's pathological. That you, you get locked up for thinking like that. But he didn't. He got to be vice president for eight years doing that. You know? Um, because on some level, Americans are real babies. They want to be. They want to. They want to be safe. We do not live in a safe world. And, uh, things happen. We know that. I mean, everybody's had things happen to their family members that they wished wouldn't have happened. They couldn't, that they couldn't protect themselves. I guess. But, but so we get to fundamental questions: What's life all about? What's government for? What things can you do to other human beings? You know, there's this whole movement to to make it very easy to quarantine. The entire population if anything bad happened, right? And if there's good news, and there is some good news from Ebola, is even though you know Governor Christie and Governor Cuomo flipped out, most people didn't. I mean, really, it was really. And even the doctor that even I shouldn't say even the doctor, even my friend at the New England Journal, who I've spent as much time fighting with as I do at work, playing nice with really stood up and just wrote that. I mean, I haven't seen a political editorial like that ever. I was saying, stop it. You can't spread Ebola until you, until you show symptoms. Don't overreact. And that was a very influential editorial. It did a nice job. And they're, yeah, they're right. Because we don't usually look at science first. We usually look at fear first. At least since 9-11. All right. After World War II, we felt pretty good about ourselves. Since 9-11, we felt really gassed.